Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 3 of Book 5. And what this proposition states is, let's start with four lines, A, B, C, and D. A and C are equal multiples of B and D. In other words, this algebra expression here. Now if we have another two lines, E and G, such that E and G are equal multiples of A and C, so in other words, we have this relationship here. Now if this holds true, then E and F and G and H are equal multiples of B and C. So again, to restate this, because there's a lot of lines going on here, B, or sorry, A is a multiple of B, EF is a multiple of A. Similarly, C is a multiple of D, and GH is a multiple of C. A, C are equal multiples of the smaller lines, and E, EF and GH are equal multiples of the larger lines, then these two larger lines are going to also be equal multiples of the very tiny lines. If this is confusing, just look at this expressed in algebra. It's a little easier to look at if you look at it algebraically. So to prove this, we start off with our simple expressions that A is equal multiple of B, C equal multiple of D, and so on and so forth. This is the starting conditions. Now EF is equal to MA and GH is equal to MC. So EF and GH are equal multiples to A and C. Let's define two points, K and L, such that EK is equal to A, KF is equal to A, GL is equal to C, and LH is equal to C. So now we have EK is an equal multiple of B, and GL is an equal multiple of D, since they're both equal to the original lines respectively. We also have that KF is an equal multiple to B as LH is to D. So now we have six lines, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And these six lines represent what we showed in proposition two. So we have EK is an equal multiple of B, KF is an equal multiple of B, GL and LH equal multiples of D. So according to proposition two, the sum of EK and KF and GL and LH will be equal multiples of B and D respectively. So this comes from proposition two. I've labeled the first line, second line, and so on here so that when you're reading it as stated in the proposition, you know which line is referring to which line. And because of proposition two, we have EF and GL are equal multiples of B and D, which is what we're trying to prove. To show this algebraically, EF is equal to EK plus KF, which is equal to n times b plus n times b, which is equal to the multiple m times n, or in other words, a new constant k. We can do the same for gh, and we end up that ef and gh are going to be equal multiples of b and d. And that's how you would show it algebraically as opposed to geometrically. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.